Welcome back, Traffic Era blog visitors. This is Scott Holden, and I'm back today with another set of videos on market research. And last we left off, we were looking at uh, investigating the Japanese recipes market, and we had done keyword research to see where that might lead us. And product research, we uh, looked at the uh, top three or four sites to see what kind of products they were offering. And we left off with a whole bunch of keywords and not knowing what to do with them and how we might build our site architecture out and build a blueprint for our site. So that's what we're going to do today. And I'm going to show you a couple ways you can figure out how to structure your website, your website blueprint and architecture using Google Wonder Wheel and uh, some common sense methods here. So we last left off using the Google external keyword tool or the Google sandbox as some people call it and I pulled up a bunch of keywords re uh, related I pulled up I searched Japanese recipes and Google pulled us back and showed us uh, all the relevant keywords that are directly related to it so the first list of, rest of keywords on the top here is the most semantically related and that's all these words here all the way down you'll see where the section ends um, way down here it ends right here and you can see you can tell where it ends because it'll then have a section additional keywords to consider so these are the ones that were the most directly related from here up and that usually would include the word Japanese recipes with some other keyword in it so we just add all 148 of those and then what we need to do is look through these additional keywords to see if there's some areas we might be um, missing out on and usually when you sort these um, by by traffic the larger area you don't have to sort them at all in fact don't don't sort them at all and it'll pull them up by relevance but the largest larger market areas that are related like food recipe these are much larger areas than Japanese recipes so you've got to go down until you find um, an area of your market with this particular keyword it goes all the way down to French recipes still being larger than Japanese recipes at 135,000 visitors a month, 165, because you can see Japanese recipes only gets like 60, so it's less than half. So I don't know if there's more pages on Google for the word Japanese recipes or French recipes, but I'm assuming French, it gets more traffic anyway. Um, anyway, you can see right here here's a good one how to make sushi so I added that you can just add or remove like this and you gotta go through these individually and see if they make sense in a, related to your business model and your products that you're selling um, Japanese sushi is uh, it's a food group a Japanese food group and so um, I'm not gonna target Japanese food groups I'm targeting cooking and recipes if anything then you get down to Japanese cooking I might may or may not target that area but I just put it in there so that we can get all these words together and dig around in them and see if there's other areas um, we're not going to go through digging around everything because that's something you'll have to do on your own it takes a lot of time if you're doing it manually sushi recipes is a great one um, Japanese dishes is pretty much directly related Japanese cookbook is a great one that's what I'm going to be selling in fact we might even use Japanese cookbook as a category of our website we got ben, bento recipes, cooking, Japan cooking, bento recipe, and some other ones here that are that I added that are pretty closely related. And I also added uh, keywords under Japanese recipes on this tool, the Google search based keyword tool. You can just uh, select all these or whichever ones you want manually. And there's only 23 that it pulled back for long tails. So I selected them all, and then you can export them all or the selected ones I just exported all of them and um, so what do we have we've got this big cluster of keywords from the Google external keyword tool and the other tool you know we've got uh, close to 200 keywords here it's uh, 186 or somewhere thereabouts of all these keywords how are they related how do we how would we set up our structure of our site based on these words well, Japanese recipes is going to be our home page, and then we might have, we're going to have categories 
you know, how are we going to decide what categories to use and then what keywords might fit under those categories? Well, you can do that using common sense, but you don't know, you know, um, whether you're choosing. In this market, it's fairly, it doesn't really matter that much because they're all related to Japanese recipes. So if you made a category and, um, you know, let's say Japanese desserts or something, and you put something under there that might have fit better under another category, um, you don't have to worry. It's not going to destroy your site or anything, and it might make sense for your site to do it that way. And you're still going to have a highly relevant site. But there's another way and another tool called the Google Wonder Wheel. And this will really allow you to get a bird's eye perspective on your keyword research and your market research, your different categories and areas of your site design. How we might lay those out. Let's just take a look at it. Japanese recipes. Okay, once you've typed in your market, your site term, your main term, click right here on show options. Just go down here to where it says Wonder Wheel. And I'm running out of time, but I'm going to show you how this works. This is amazing. Stick with me.